Well, it's spring in England, so what does that mean? It means the county championship is in full swing. And it also means there's quite a bit of rain. So we've seen a lot of draws in the recent round of matches, but we have seen some Aussies in action as well. So here's our wrap on what the Aussies have been doing in the county championship. Essex hosted Warwickshire in Chelmsford and while it was of course a rain affected draw, there was enough time for Peter Siddle to show he's really enjoying nipping things around at his home ground. He took six for 38 in 21 overs. They are his best ever championship figures and just goes to show that while his Australian test career may be in the past, he has a lot to offer in the future when it comes to first class cricket. Well, after his interview with The Guardian opened a whole big can of sandpapery worms in Australia, Cameron Bancroft made his first appearance for Durham in the championship this season. And it was a proper knock too for the opener. It was not easy for batters in that match, but he stuck around and scored 39 of 137 deliveries. I reckon it's pretty safe to say that he'd much rather be out in the middle than taking any more questions from journalists. Now there's a bit of an Aussie vibe at Glamorgan this season with a few Australian players calling Cardiff home, but they were away in Canterbury uh, against Kent for yes, another rain affected draw, but there were three Australian players in the action. Michael Hogan didn't take any wickets, the West Australian, but the people's favorite, Michael Neeser, he sure did. He took four for 57 and who knows, maybe a successful season of his in-swingers over there at Glamorgan might help his test career aspirations. I know a lot of people would like to see it. Also in the wickets, Marlis Labashane. He took a couple with his offspin, including that a 45-year-old Darren Stevens, who's 190 runs in that match has just been the buzz of the county championship and he's kind of set it on fire this season. But Darren Stevens then took the wicket of Labashain uh, for 14 runs he made and his batting has really not been going well. He has made just 34 runs in five innings so far. It's a long way from the last time he played in the championship and had so much success that it inspired an Australian test call up in the ashes. So he will obviously be hoping uh, for more of the luck and the form from that season uh, as we head into the ashes next Australian summer. Daniel Worrell was in the wickets for Gloucestershire when they hosted Somerset at Bristol, taking three for 52. But a lot of the excitement was centered around the London Derby where Peter Hanscom is captaining Middlesex and they took on Surrey. In the second innings, Hanscom made 70 off 94, his first half century of the season. And it was in a partnership with Nick Gubbins that looked like it might get Middlesex the win until the rain came in. But it's been a bit of a tough one for Pete Hanscom this season. He's played nine innings. He's had two scores over 20, including that half century against Surrey. And three times he's been out for a duck. So it's proving to be a tough ask to captain and score runs for Pete Hanscom at Middlesex so far this season. And that's it for this week. We'll be keeping our eye on the championship over the coming months and we'll be back next week with another look at how the Aussies are doing in the county championship.